in Big Cat, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. Come in, come on, I've got intel, Recon is afoot. Let's dive in darling dears and see what I've gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get the dice. Give it a good shofty. Oh, the red dice is immediate intel. The white dice backs it up. So you have a six and a four. The energy of the six is cooperation. Somebody's going to be seeking your cooperation. Mm -hmm. They may come forward with um, the need for someone to accompany them, accompany them to the doctor, some kind of medical center. Maybe it's to get their body done. I don't know. Right, if you want to know exactly who it is, hit me up in the Gmail for a personal read. Let's press on. It's also about your health, darling dears. Your health is your wealth. Don't put it off. It's time for you to what? Get your checkups in, darling dear. The energy of the four is communication. This communication could be from a letter, email, text. Maybe you need to communicate something pertaining to your health or making some kind of a medical visit, darling dears. It's also someone wanting to communicate with you, darling dear, wanting your cooperation. Listen, I... <laughs> it nearly took my breaths away. What? Your, your cooperation? What do they want you to cooperate with? Who sent them? All these questions we're going to answer. Mm -hmm. In numerology, um, it only goes up to a nine. So a ten goes down to a one. The energy of the one is about a new beginning for you. You've got a potential, potential to what open, open, have doorways opened to you. Opportunities are coming your way, darling dears. It's because you're an original. Mm -hmm. So it could be a copycat on your case. It speaks about your individuality, darling dears. Some of you are going to be stepping into a leadership role, or maybe you finally woke up. The other shoes finally dropped. You realize your power and your potential, darling dears. Mm hmm. We love it. Life path number one. If your birthday, your birthday may be the first, the tenth, the nineteenth, or the twenty-eighth, you are the person, or your person, or somebody you are in close close proximity to, darling. There's someone that wants your cooperation. We also have um, your favorable days are a Friday and a Saturday. Mm hmm. You get on with numbers, life path numbers one, two, and five. You won't get on with somebody with a four or a six, or four or six will be somewhere in their their date of birth, um, their postcode, their house number, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The letters A, J, and S are going to be important to you in the upcoming future, the near future. How about that? Mm -hmm. A ten speaks about. Um, ending of a cycle, something coming to completion, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The four and a six speaks about somebody's going to be rushing in. They feel it's a renewal, rushing into a situation where they'll, a child will be begotten, but they're not knowing their partner properly. A one is represented by um, the magician in tarot. It could be a manipulator, someone who's manip manipulative, a smooth talking ear hustler. Mm. Okay. All right, let's get your rune stone. Oh, the shell dropped. So a secret is about to be revealed, darling dears. Well, someone's trying to keep a secret, but they're not going to be able to keep it, darling dear. you are going to find out some shiz naive, which may give you the renewal or the answers that you've been looking for. To what? Get great. Get great, darling dears. Get great. Oh, you have two. Shell back up. Yeah. When you cast rune stones, you read them from right to left. Your first one is Wunjo. This is the star card in tarot. Mm -hmm. Represented by the letter W, the number 8 and 17. So the numbers 8, 17, um, 1, 2, and 5, or a combination of those angel numbers check it out with the angel numbers darling this will be a message for you as well as the letters w a j 
and S. Mm -hmm. This speaks about comfort, joy and pleasure, darling dears, fellowship, some kind of a meeting of minds. This could be a benefactor turning up or you what enjoying your own company. Why is that you've healed? The, when we see the star card, it speaks about a healing on a spiritual as well as physical level. You've healed from a situation. Mm. Star card is um, Aquarius energy. Aquarius is the 11th house and that's ruled by Uranus. So it's a change. You're different, darling dear. Some people may call you eccentric, but you, this is this is what a Friday for you. <laughs> You're not eccentric. No, no. Well, maybe you are, but not in a, in a, I'm going to stalk you with the chloroform and duct tape kind of a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. It also speaks about, speaks into your improvement in your health. You've raised your vibration, but there is jealousy, a spotlight, or maybe even the eye of Saren, that evil eyes on you. Mm -hmm. For others, you're going to be learning that you're pregnant. Congratulations, darling dears. Mm-hmm. But this is about your spiritual growth, you understanding yourself more. It's also, the star card also represents the North Star. Somebody's an astrologer, or maybe looking towards their North Node on their birth natal chart. Mm -hmm. This is also protection because this represents the Egyptian goddess Nut, right? Protection at night in particular, you're being protected. Somebody's been sending some negative energies your way, maybe because you ended a cycle with them. Yeah, you said no more, one more round, Julie, for you, with my hairline. Oh, how now, brown cow? You said, look, good golly and gosh. You also have swallow. This is a sun energy on its face. This is an energy energy drainer, a situation where it wasn't happy. It also speaks about um, the loss of a child in a situation, darling dears. Oh, we hear of a pregnancy, now we hear of a loss of a child. Okay, could be miscarriage, could be they've decided not to carry on with the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Swallow is represented by the letter S. You also have the letter, um, it represents the number 16 and 19. So we've got 16, 19, 1, 2 and 5, as well as the number 8 and 17. You're, they're going to be coming up in your life over the next few days, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Be very important. It may be on the back of a woodwinker. Mm -hmm. This is making it look like what? Nip it in the bud. Yeah. You're going to be stopping something in its tracks, darling dears. This is a new beginning for you. You realise your own potential or seen your worth through your own eyes, darling dears. Something that you've overcome, a situation that you've let go of. A table you no longer sit at. Something definitely has caused you a raising vibration. But it's a new beginning. For others, this could also speak about a benefactor. Somebody coming to support whatever it is you're doing. A divinely guided support. Right, let's carry on. I'm going to use the African Goddess Rising. Ancestral message for my big cats. Ancestral oracle message. The first one is speak up, step up to the mic. This is the throat chakra. The throat chakra is represented by Friday, um, as well as oh, gem, uh, Mercury energy. So this is Gemini and Virgo, mm -hmm, as well as the direction of West. It speaks about your communication. We already came up with the divide the dice. So the communication could be speaking. It could be your listening skills, darling dears. When you listen, you hear more. And not only that, you will always be the wisest person in the room. No one knows what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not only that, it will bring in what? Law number 33, you will know your opponent. Because a liar and a thief will always tell on themselves, especially a cheater. Mm -hmm. 33, darling dears. So this is about, this is a major um, master number, 33. It's the number of manifestation. It's the number of um, your creativity manifestation. It's the number of Christ consciousness. Um, it also speaks about harmony coming into your life. With 
we see two cups here, like the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin, for completion and beginning. Mm -hmm. But it's a reminder for you to speak your truth, even if your voice is shaking, because the people that matter don't mind, and the ones that mind don't matter. It also speaks about there's a lot of people speaking up behind your back. Listen. It takes a strong cat to have so many people up against them, and they couldn't give a good golly or a gosh. You're about to wash your face like David. You have a foot in both worlds, darling dears. 3D and the 5D. You know what's going on. What else? Self-sabotage. Be wary of self-sabotage. We've got a 24. Mm -hmm. The 24 is likened to um, a fella, the world room. Okay. Yeah, the number 24. Yeah. Be careful of the things that's being sown to you, darling dears, because you have snakes around you. And that it could also speak about hidden frenemies, hidden enemies, people trying to stay just under the radar, but are still trying to put holes in your boat. Somebody who's expecting you to help them in a situation, would they have helped you? This is a new moon. We have a new moon coming up on the um, 13th of November. So it's best for you not to make any major moves until then. then until after the next new moon. Okay. Because self-sabotage, darling, does it also speaks about delusion in a situation. It's about you keeping it real with self. Sometimes you have to what? Talk to yourself, darling, dears, to the I, myself, and me to get everybody on board. It could also represent someone who's on a self-sabotage path. I'm feeling as though they sabotaged their own self. Maybe when they, they got you to the point where you went to completion, darling dear. This is someone looking back like Lot's wife, Salt Bay. Mm -hmm. This looks like a Jezebel spirit as well. An Ikebaya or a Sakabai. Good golly and gosh. Mm -hmm. Someone you may have to speak up to, darling dears. Base of the deck. Listen to your intuition. You know who it is. We already spoke of the energy of the the one, but this is the, but this looks like a one here. But this is the number of thirty five. Thirty five is an eight. It speaks about money. It speaks about yin and yang. The eight or the infinity sign is found above the magician's head as well as the strength card in tower. So this is about you keeping your wits about you, listening to your intuition, darling dear. Your first thought is the correct one about a situation or circumstance. Someone's also been marking off time that you've been apart, darling dears. Yeah. Well, they haven't done anything really fabulous because this, can you see this sign here? It looks like Wunjo. In the reverse, darling dears. Someone is not happy. They've not healed from a situation. Yeah. They don't like the new change in you, darling dear. Maybe it's your benefits thereafter. We also have a number five. Five speaks about change. Change that comes from instability and conflict, darling dears. Mm, so many messages. Right, let's press on. I'm going to lead with the white deck. I'm going to have to split it in two because it's a very big deck. And I'll split it and look what's at the top. A pregnancy. You're going to be hearing about a pregnancy or you could be pregnant. Yeah, somebody's going to confess about a pregnancy. Mm-hmm. What else? Before we move on to the other half of the deck. Right? Look at this. Yeah, we've got an addict. Keep it pushing, darling dear. Skeet, skeet. Keep it moving. Somebody's addicted to a situation, darling dear. Something that they're going to confess about. Maybe the pregnancy is the result of said situation. Mm -hmm. They're stressed to their... They're at their stress threshold, guys. <laughs> So they will tell you the sky is pink with orange polka dots just to get your attention. This person is a codependent. Maybe you was addicted to them in the past. Maybe their crazy making made you feel addicted. This is something a sociopath or a narcissist would do. Borderline personality. Mm -hmm. Codependence is going on, darling dear. Somebody is really stressed out over a pregnancy. Something they want to confess to you. Maybe to get you on side. To get you to feel sorry for them. Or to help them out of a situation. Somebody wants to be saved. They want a situation to heal. When they are unhealed, this person is coming in with what? Spiritual attachments, darling dears. STD, sexually transmitted demons. Mm. Wow. 
Right, let's get a deck. The face of the deck, the tenth cup is in the reverse. This is a relationship that is on the rocks of life or it's over. It also speaks about lying. You may have left this person as many as ten times. Listen, no one here is a picker. We're pointers here at Don't Get Smoke Central. Nope. It can happen, darling dear, because if you're dealing with a narc, they build the situation to a crazy-making, gaslighting, kind of a tight trauma-bonding situation. Mm-hmm. This is a broken family as well, darling dears. Possibly broken because of the knowledge of a pregnancy. This person is still codependent on you. They haven't forgotten you, darling dear. You might have forgotten them, but they haven't forgotten you. sabotage they went well we know they went in without in no glove they should have said no love we have the what um the nine of cups on its face darling dears they didn't get their wish fulfillment in a situation they would love a situation to change especially around the pregnancy this person wants to be solo daughter like the boys or girls on the pole are they trying to avoid the financial responsibility of this pregnancy yeah, they think they're pregnant. They're having a child with the wrong one. Someone who was a fake empress. Yeah, they've already mentally left the building. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> yeah. They want to leave the situation. They feel as though the partner they're with is extremely codependent. This is, this is a coward. Emperor on its face. A distorted masculine. Well, they was in good company. They had the empress on his face. The two fakerzoids was together. And now a child is about to be born into this, or should I, born into this unfortunate situation where the masculine has already left, mentally left the situation. Wow. They're not happy. There's no emotional fulfillment there whatsoever. Good golly and gosh. Somebody wants to turn back the hands of time. Mm -hmm. They're feeling extremely unfulfilled. And they was greedy, darling dears. They were greedy. They couldn't wait to get naked. Yeah. And now they're what? Mentally leaving the building. They feel that they was tempted into the situation. A masculine, a distorted masculine feels that they was tempted into the situation. We all know their real name is Fulio. Who's that? The son of Pennywise the Clown. Yeah, this is what they want to come and confess to you, that they was tempted into a situation. And they will find the door closed. You're not going to give them an 11-11 fade again. Why would you? At this moment in time, you're single and independent, right? You don't get along with your birth mother or mo a mother energy that was around you. You've already moved on mentally from that. You've left the many people behind. There was as many as six significant people that you walked away from. And they can't come back, including this distorted masculine. You're not having it, blood. You're not having it. You don't want that tampon string in your life. And you know how invasive a, a, <laughs> a tampon string can be. Mm -hmm. If you're a female... Yeah, you see things from a different perspective. What? You love yourself. Do you love yourself? You've dropped the burden, darling dear. Looking years younger, getting your sexy back. Yeah. This is new opportunities, darling dears. You freed yourself from a situation. You don't get along with your mother. It's a never-ending cycle with your mother, darling dears. Some of your mothers may even be watching on side or a mother energy. Somebody who has progeny. If they've got progeny, this is a destabilized home. No, the children aren't happy. They're not happy. This person is a liar and likes to keep up with the keep keep up with the Joneses, darling dears, but they don't have the Skrilla. Jealous and looking at a future that you've created with your skeet skeet. Yeah. You've turned water into wine, darling dears. Matter of fact, you the way they see it, you can walk on water. Mmm. -hmm. In the reverse, darling dear. And the page. Told you, no one in that family is happy. This mother energy. Nobody in that family is happy. From the rooter to the tutor. Right? And there's a pregnancy on the table. Yeah. And it's going to be proved to be this person's child. And listen, they don't need to go to Maury. <laughs> the DNA says yes. Yeah, you fired that. You definitely hit home. You hit on target, darling dears. Somebody wants to run away from a situation they created. Mm. But a situation that you've already mentally left the building. This was still on the table. Devil energy. Yeah. 
because this is taking on lots of what spiritual energies of others. This person is also codependent or a controlling person. They like people to be codependent on them. Mm -hmm. Many people. This is someone who loves their ego being fed. They like they like to appear to the person that they're with, that they're with, but the back door's always open for them to go and do what they've got to do, darling dears. Devil energy. This is somebody who is um extremely obsessed with you. Big cat. They're obsessed. Because you kept going. Even in the... Sh you released. You released the stress. You overcame the codependency, darling dears. You nipped something in the bud. Face of the deck. This person is a lying liar. Knight of Cups on its face. But this is the person that's got unresolved issues with many people. Many people have cried soul tears. Yeah, this is why bad luck is on them like white on rice. Pardon me, a spiritual belch, because I speak the truth, roof. Pinkies up, bad luck is on them, darling dear. Unhappy home, I told you from the root to the tutor, the mother ain't happy, the father ain't happy. Yeah, look, and they ain't got no money. Destabilized as well. When you do wickedness to people, you must expect it back. It's boomerang season. What's going on? We're in the age of Aquarius. What did they think? This person, right? You live rent free in their mind. They may even have gone to prison, darling dear, for some some low vibing act, verbal abuse. I just heard check fraud. Is this person a cut person as well? Yep, they took money. Reverse Empress. They're a full on Mitch. A Mitch bitch or a bitch Mitch. Yeah. This person needs to go to jail. Something about finances, darling dears. Yeah. You know this. Or they're, they're thinking about the finances, their finances at this moment in time. They're not listening to their intuition. They're cut off from their spiritual side. Fulio, what did I say? The prize dummy. Mm -hmm. Who's intertwined their spirit, their essence with many people. Hermit energy in the reverse. It's because they're afraid of being alone, darling dears. They will tell you, like I said, they will lie. Like a rug. To get what they want. And they bring unhappiness wherever they are. Destabilize foundations. They affect people's mental health. A dog on its forehead. This is someone who's disloyal to the core. Yeah. Two of wands. They want a new beginning. They want to turn their back on this toxic life. But have they changed? Not one fig, darling. There's seven of pentacles. They ain't changed. So they're going to have one what? A Peter suit. A Judas in a Peter suit. Queen of pentacles on its face. Counting your money, whatever you're earning in the future, darling dears. Because this is a broken relationship between the two of you. You're being watched on the internet. You have gang stalkers, darling dears. What's this Knight of Cups? Not getting wish fulfillment. Not happy with all of the people they've chose. This person is verbally abusive. And they like to take a gamble, darling dear. They took a gamble with you. And you didn't put up a fight. You let go. Mmm... You knew when you, you'd had enough of being manipulated, right? You decided to put your flip-flops back on. What's that? Your common sense, darling dears. You don't want no one to slip you off your flip-flop. You know this person is a smooth talker, darling dears. And they've had no healing. Didn't we see the Wunjo on the card in reverse? We saw it here. Listen to your intuition and your discernment. And behind that is a spider. For what? Betrayal, darling dear. Somebody wants to come back and betray you again. They want to break you. Mm -hmm. We have the energy of a 20. 20 is what in the Tower of Judgment. This is someone that would like a second chance in your life, darling dear. But it'd be on a knife's edge. You may even need to seek medical assistance. This person will make you pay for the loss of control over you, darling dear. Tower moment. And they will keep you stuck. This will be the wrong choice for you. Queen of Swords. You better be what? On the alert, darling dear. This Queen of Swords have got the eye holes cut out. You can't fool her. This is someone who has the wisdom of, of, of their experiences. Highly intelligent, able to solve any issue with the least amount of brain matter, darling dears. You are, you're, you're kind, you're fair, but you're nobody's fool. You may have born at, been born at night, but not last night. You're not going to trust that situation. Don't trust it, darling dears. They've got many spiritual attachments that will what take you off your own path. Let's get another deck.
Ace of the deck and 1111. Faith, this is mutual minds working together. This is a meeting of minds. It could also be a meeting, a work meeting. One's energy represents work. It could be a party situation, somebody's engagement, a wedding. But this is like-minded souls getting together. Okay. Mm. said spin it. Okay. Right. I spun it. <laughs> It was fun. It was fun. If. Listen. Somebody. They're seeing everything from a different perspective. You're seeing it. You don't love certain situations. You let go of a lot of relationships in your life. From people who are extremely disloyal. They gave you bad advice. They had bad intentions. Yes. And if you was dealing with them in a romantic situation. You may have been married to this person. Or engaged with this person. You thought they was on the same page. They was never on the same page. When you see the arm um, hangman in reverse, this person knows what's going on, darling dear. This is someone, an opportunist. And we know it's an opportunist that is trying to escape a pregnancy in a situation where there's no money, no love, no happiness. Even though they've got backup players, they see you as the empress, the baddest of them all. It's about you knowing your worth, darling dear. You've added tax. Yeah, so sorry. So sad, too bad. You're not having it. Somebody feels regret and remorse over a situation. They would like to come back and work things out with you, right? They want it to be a success or they see you as a success, successful in your life. You didn't crumble and you didn't fade. You came through with the, what? The strength card, darling, dear. The strength card. Mm. First time I've noticed on her gown at the bottom, it's sheer. You paid your knees. You're not going to be tempted off your flip-flop. This is you being drama-free. You was the one that called the tower in the time. And this is you getting over a breakup. But you had to go through it. Why? Because it was a spiritual lesson of strength, darling dear. Keep going. Solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole. The cards are backing themselves. What's this? Yeah. Move away from this lead. This person that wants to come and give you a bull swanky apology as a page. Pwah! Right? And they come to betray you again. We already saw... The spider on its web. What a web they weave when they practice to deceive someone who is what spiritually blessed and gifted. You have got a foot in both worlds. Divine is trying to let you know you are a master manifester. You can have anything you want. You're not juggling and struggling. You're just looking at all the options that are being gifted to you at this time. This is why they want to come back. But somebody who's going to be loyal to you is on their way. But it's also a reminder you have to be loyal to yourself first. King of Cups is the result of your actions, darling dears. Is wisdom. Slow to speak and quick to listen. Yeah. You moved on from this situation that was controlling. But expect some kind of message from this person from the past, darling dear. They would like to be successful. Maybe you have a new car, a new career. But it's, you've got success on you. Like white on rice. Again, this is a message. And it's also about you getting over a painful breakup, Knight of Swords, in the upright, I might add. It speaks about um, you um, having new social contacts and Divine is telling you to be opinionated, right? Speak your peace if someone from the past liked to return. This was never a friend to you, darling dear. And as I said, they live rent for in your mind and they may even have been to prison. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're creating, darling, dear, solid foundation. This is higher education. You may be even be in a position of a teacher. But the ten, the ten of Pentacles speaks about um, the culmination of your actions. This is about wisdom being wise. The wisdom being for the wise. This person would like to come back, but you've got a whole file on them, darling, dear. Yeah. King and Queen of Swords. This would be a very cold match, darling, dear. No true heart. And it would have to be a meeting of minds. We already said this person is manipulative. And you may have to seek the law. And it also speaks about be protecting your physical body, darling. Dears. They may try to fight you. Go and watch my Don't Get Smoked video where I teach you like Kung Fu and self-defense. Because mm -hmm. some people get that syndrome. If I can't have you, then nobody can have you. And the next thing you know, they want to do all, all sorts. We don't meet anybody from the past anywhere. Why? We've seen the first 48. We watch CSI. Leave them where they are. Look what card is still facing up. Five. And stand your ground and speak your truth. 
Don't let them break into the peace. The tenth cup you managed to align for yourself, darling, is by sowing the right seeds, right? This is a new partner, a love partner coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Listen to your intuition. You're going to be able to relax, all right? Because this is somebody that is coming to you that is not going to give you any strength or strife. But you are highly spiritual. What a lot of people don't realize, or oh, they're realizing now, when you mess around with someone who is highly intuitive and spiritual, you're the one that will end up at the end of a boomerang. Yeah. Continue to plan, plot, and strategize. Leave the past in the past. You've already kicked over that cup of hopium and cognitive dissonance. Why would you go back? But it's also be alert for the future. Being a spiritual being, darling, is having raised your vibration, right? Having a foot in both worlds, you're going to be a beacon to good and bad. But know this, you are being respected by angels and demons. It's like when you put your feet on the floor, they're like, she or he's awake. Whoa, no. <laughs> yeah. Someone who had no vision, they had no idea that you would get over a situation. You may have been left in a situation where you was financially broke. Broke, it was so joke. Broke is a joke. But you stood your ground, darling, dears. You didn't break, you didn't falter. You knew that if you went back to this person, it would be a gamble and a risk. And this person would never let you hear the ending of it. They never had any money anyway. This person is not stable of cranium. If they was a husband or a wife, they was never loyal, darling, dear. Yeah, what did I say? Always had a throuple on the go because they've got the low self-esteem. But they have no control over you now. Yeah, because you make the right choices. Mm -hmm, the right investments. Sowing the right seeds. You don't need this. This is a mother energy that you don't get along with, darling dears. They liked you better as well when you didn't know your worth. When they had you as a thumber, being pulled around like taffy. Told you they're broke, they ain't got no money. And the devil is not welcome, darling dear. Listen to your intuition. This person can't emotionally let go of you. And it's not for a nice thing because they see that you're creating for yourself. They're extremely toxic and the situation will turn toxic again. If you allow them back in your... Why would you want to put yourself through that? Don't you love your hairline? Listen to your intuition. Learn to read the room, shorty. Yeah. This is spiritual ascension on the tableau, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Keep going. They only come with codependency, stress, addictions, and a confession. And they're going to lie about the confession. They just want to get you stuck again, darling dear. In a toxic relationship. One where there'll be no abundance. Or you'll be cut off from the spiritual level that you've achieved. By the sweat of your proverbial balls. Mm -hmm. You know what to do, eight of swords. Choose you. Listen, I don't want no blood pressure, blood, blood pressure giving people around me. Oh no! Like um, Medea said, I'd rather be on my own with a puppy and a goldfish. Pinky's up. Let's get the Moonology cards. Give them a quick shift and wake up this deck. What's this? A win-win outcome is coming towards you, darling dears. This is Libra energy. Um, Libra is the seventh house. Some kind of contract, whether business, romance, friendship. You have new contracts coming towards you, darling dears. We saw the 11-11 fade and it's about to reach a fiery climax. Yeah, something. What's this? Confidence is the key to success. Leo energy, the fifth house. This is the new moon and it's about setting intentions, about new romance. This is about you opening your heart to new things. Mm. Let's get a final card. Let's see what Keep is saying. Then we're out of here to get great. We're approaching a fiery climax. Full moon in Libra and a full moon in Aries. The meaning of a full moon is you're going to be harvesting, darling dears. Things that you, the intentions that you set at past moons. This is why you've got to listen to your intuition. You've opened up a new pathway for yourself, right? And it also is the signing of contracts. A legal situation is on the table as well, darling dear. You've bossed up on bitches and mitches. You have. Know your worth always in every situation and add tax. Stand up for yourself, 701s. 
because change is ev change is inevitable, darling dears. No one, you're not the same person you was nine days ago, nine weeks ago, nine years ago. You've changed family room. They always somebody brought a third party in on you, darling dears. Something to do with your child or the child they have. This could be involved in that pregnancy. You have a wedding or the meeting of minds, a contract, soul contract coming, which is going to be extremely fortunate to you on many levels, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Yeah. On that note, I drops me mic. Don't live to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, or share, and leave a comment because your comment could be a survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat way. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.